what's up? Welcome to another walk with me for Aspie with Attitude. My name is David. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism, I have speech difficulty, a speech impairment, and a speech impairment, I have speaking syndrome, and that's why I'll call myself an Aspie. And I'd like to introduce you to another walk with me for Aspie with Attitude. And first off, are you familiar with Walk With Me number 10 when I went to Mullen Park and you just saw me coming back to Schwartz Coast Cottage now that I've got a pronunciation right. Just to give you a bit of a recap in this video, I had explored two different towers which is part of the East Link Torah in Melbourne. So like I had explored on the east part of the East Link the Ringwood Porthole. On the west side, I had explored the other Porthole Tower, which is actually located in Donvale. And this all happened back in Walk With Me, number 10. This time around, in between these two towers that I've explored back in Walk With Me, number 10, there is actually a nature reserve called Yarra Durnham Reserve and this is where I'm heading. So anyway, this is going to be less talking, more walking with Walk With Me and come with me. And what happens in these videos is you're going to see the world from the eyes of an individual who's actually autistic. That's what these video contents is all about for Walk With Me from Aspie With Attitude. Come along. area where the Yarra Dam Reserve sits once was a stone quarry then became a rubbish tip up until 1963. It was in 1967 the area was declared a reserve and in 1970 it was named Yarra Dam, taking the name from the traditional landowners meaning Wattle Gully. In the next decade the tip was reclaimed and over 40,000 trees and shrubs were planted, the ponds, and there's even a waterfall that was created. And in 1980, the visitor centre was built. The reserve is maintained by the Whitehall City Council with the assistance of the Yaron Deron Advisory Committee. The committee conducts a range of events and walks designed to introduce users to the features of the reserve and the City of Whitehorse conducts some educational and school holiday programs at Reserve as well. And for the details, I'll actually leave a link in the description down below. And please enjoy Walk With Me. And it's 7.4 hectares of bushland in the Reserve, situated on the southern bank of the Mullumullum Creek, near Shorts Coast Cottage where I did Walk With Me number 10. Hey dudes, well I finally made it to Yarra Denham, which is a 10 minute walk from where I left off after doing Walk With Me number 10, as you see in this time lapse shot. And I just hope you got all the information about what this park is all about. This is going to be a very small nature reserve that I'm going through, and it just feels so good getting up that early in the morning where there's going to be less people about. And right behind me, looks like some sort of quarry site that used to be there and how bad it would be if there was a big freeway or east link going right through it. So right underneath there there's actually a tollway under there so there's going to be traffic right under this ground and you've got a nice beautiful nature reserve. And before I actually get into Yarra Denham I want to just show you something really cool. 
what you're looking down there is actually Mullen Creek. And just how cool is it, like, have they've actually paved the walls along there? Ah, oh, that is so awesome. And also, I really love that terracotta drain, like that culvert. Ah, oh, this is absolutely awesome. Like, this is just so beautiful, like, how they've actually gone and done that. That also must stop the banks from eroding, which is a cool thing. And considering that behind me is that quarry that I've just showed you earlier. So I wonder why they almost made this a rubbish tip. But anyway, at least they cleaned up all the rubbish back in the 1960s to make this a beautiful nature reserve. And I think it's just time to get this over done with before more people arrive. And you're watching Walk With Me from Aspie of Attitude. Come along, let's go into Yarra Denham Reserve. Now, what has drawn me to this area is that beautiful pond. And I'll just move out of the way to show you Lily. And in this pond is actually a mini island, just where perhaps the ducks can lay their eggs, so from the uh, predators, like foxes for instance. Oh yeah, this is gonna be an awesome look around the you know, Durnham Reserve. Oh, I actually just absolutely love this place. Like, I can wonder, What's with the quarries to get all these rock formations happening? But I'll let you know, you just haven't seen much. There's actually more to see in Yarradanum Park from Aspie with Attitude. Yeah, let's explore more of this park.
here it is. This is the second pond in this reserve, and just how cool it is. Because, like, I already showed you up there. This is actually a stream from a upper pond down to this middle pond. And I'm afraid this pond's absolutely dirty as. So, like, you anyway, know, perfect environment for, for frogs, I guess. So, where am I heading? Oh, yes. I'm going to go to the lower pond. There's actually three ponds down there. And there's more to see. And you haven't seen enough for this episode of Walk With Me from Aspie With Attitude. So, anyway, I'm just going to continue on. If you actually enjoy these walk with me videos, don't forget in the description down below I actually do have a full playlist of each and every videos for you to look at and while I'm halfway through this walk with me and if you really enjoy these videos, why not subscribe to Aspie Attitude because there's going to be more videos like that and there has been plenty of previous videos like this and also you can keep up to date by ringing this notification bell to keep up to date with Aspie Attitude and also, don't forget to like and share this video content with your friends, with your family, and with your autism community. And please, still keep watching this walk with me. There's actually more to see. And I'm just going to get moving then, before more people arrive. And before they actually start to overwhelm me. Now, this is where I actually come to the third pond, and that's the pond right at the bottom of the three. So you see the top, the middle, and now here it is. Well, I hope you enjoy a look at this pond. Yeah, I'm just going to stand up and just move on, and there's more to see. Something I'd like to show you in this video is oh, it is a flying waterfall. So this clip's got to actually be man-made. This is all coming from the three ponds just up above. So after torrential rain, you expect this to be a real cool waterfall. So I'm afraid it's just too sunny for that. Yeah, it's got more and more people coming in now. 
So it's highly likely I'm going to get a lot of my shots disturbed, which is actually going to really destroy and ruin my day here. So anyway, there you have it. And you can just see how this is all just going to continue down from that trickling waterfall that you just seen this video earlier. Like, oh, that is just absolutely cool. Like, yeah, that's all you need to see. So, like, there's only just a little bit more to see in this park. So, anyway, like, I'm just going to get up. Yeah, come along and walk with me in this video from Aspeef Attitude. Yeah, Denim Reserve. I just must show you how far I actually gone with this walk with me. There was all just going downhill, passing the three ponds, passing the trickling waterfall, and all the way down to this other wooden bridge. So that's just the bottom of you know, Denham Reserve. So imagine if there was torrential rain. Yeah, how cool it would be seeing the water cascade down there. But unfortunately not today. You just see how blue the skies are. And if I go around, and you'll just actually see the creek down there, that's Mullen Mullen Creek, and that's where it all drains into. And that looks so man made. Because this was originally going to be a East Link Tollway, so there's going to be a massive roadway demolishing the whole bushland. And if they didn't put a tunnel on the ground, how horrible would that be? Just destroying this natural beauty. Oh yes. Sometimes you just can't get enough of it. So, this is almost coming to the end of this video content now from Aspie Attitude. Yeah, walk with me. cool with that like finally actually worked on this video in absolute peace and I actually really enjoyed doing this walk with me at Yandern Reserve so I just hope you really enjoyed this walk and it was only halfway through the walk that I did talk about subscribing using the notification bell button and also to talk about checking out walk with me number 10 that is the reserve that's in between these two towers that you're seeing walk with me number 10 so anyway I'd love to finish off this video while I'm sitting on this log, and that's how I always do it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this walk from Aspie Attitude. Peace and respect, you've just looked through the eyes of an autistic individual, and see you next time.